Daniel uh, Dimoski and I'm a math tutor and I occasionally tutor physics, basics to electrical engineering and programming. So far I was uh, tutoring uh, one-on-one live session but I would like to start also um, online uh, tutoring so this is a um, presentation of uh, how I think or I should, uh, feel that uh, online tutoring should look like. I've uh, tested a lot of uh, hardware and software, uh, a lot of uh, hardware equipment and software uh, programs and uh, I came to a conclusion, uh, some conclusions how it should work. Uh, I uh, currently use a um, program called uh, Zoom Meetings for uh, video calls to see for my students and me to see each other. Um, I'm using uh, I'm using an uh, online whiteboard called uh, Whiteboard Fox and that's software wise and uh, um, there are three essential uh, computer devices and computer equipment that are essential to this to work since I uh, require from my students to write and to do the most legwork I expect them to have uh, some kind of a writing equipment, meaning either a graphic tablet uh, with a pen or some kind of a tool with a pen that can write an online whiteboard. Uh, so this is my, um, how I will call it, uh, preference or what I would advise students to get. Uh, this is the uh, entry equipment, this is vacuum uh, bamboo's uh, graphic tablet, an older version and a cheap one that can that work very well with uh, whiteboard, uh, uh, whiteboard fox. This is uh, Welcome to uh, Artist um, CTH uh, 90, I think. And it also works very well. And it works even better than the previous one. And it can be bought for around 100 bucks or less if it's bought second hand. Another piece of equipment that can work well with uh, uh, with uh, online whiteboards also with uh, also with uh, whiteboard fox is uh, a tablet an iPad I have here um, Samsung Galaxy Tab A with a pen can work, write really, really precisely. I don't know if you can pick this up. It's very fast and responsive, and you can write very fast. And also tested. Uh, Lenovo Yoga Book uh, that actually has a uh, actual paper that can be put in front of the uh, writing surface and student can have a paper like feel when it writes on it and it can detect it properly and online whiteboards work well with this uh, with Lenovo Yoga Book has a vacuum pen because vacuum made it together with Lenovo and uh, what I 
use is um, mostly that will be using for my classes for my tutoring session is uh, XP Pen Artist 15.6 uh, Pro and well, you can see but uh, that's it's most uh, expensive of the old equipment that I use but it's not necessary to get one all of the previous uh, one that I tested that I have that I tested it are sufficient enough for two transition to be uh, optimal that's uh, uh, the writing uh, wise um, equipment now what uh, next thing is uh, web cameras I'm recording this video with a web camera called uh, Logitech C90 uh, HD Pro something like that and can be bought for like fifty dollars and uh, most it's not necessary to have it's an uh, 1080p web camera it's not necessary to have uh, um, 1080p uh, most of the web cameras that are integrated into most of the laptops have 720p uh, quality and it's sufficient also um, the video can be done by phone, uh, by a tablet, by any kind of uh, equipment and even though the it's preferable for a student to have a better uh, quality video during a video call it's not uh, it's not necessary to have the uh, highest uh, quality of video that, uh, 720p or even less is sufficient enough no probably shouldn't be less than uh, four, 480p so between 480p and uh, 1080p uh, quality uh, of uh, web camera that should be sufficient. The next uh, piece of equipment is a microphone, and I have a dynamic uh, a microphone called Shure SM58. Um, that is connect that is connected to a computer through an audio interface. It's an XLR microphone, but. Uh, USB microphone can be okay. This is uh, I use this also in, uh, in before. It's a dynamic uh, U2U USB microphone. It can also it also works well. I don't know where exactly what's exactly the name of this microphone, but it is a condenser. Um, Condenser USB microphone that also works well. The difference between uh, dynamic and condenser microphones is that dynamic microphones uh, cut most of the background noise, but also very quieter, so it, they need to be. Um, the volume should be uh, up when uh, talking through them, and the uh, condenser microphone picks. Uh, a lot of uh, background noise so if you're talking through them at least uh, you should uh, try to reduce all the noise that's coming from uh, your uh, environment when so that's the basic difference but uh, up any uh, microphone uh, will work also integrated microphone from laptop or so so yeah, th those are three basic uh, um, devices, computer devices that I needed, uh, a rising tool, a uh, web camera, and a uh, microphone, and 
think most people haven't uh, also what could be useful or better than using the, the speakers uh, computer speaker is uh, headphones to better hear each other while we're having tutorial session and uh, these are uh, more of a, these are more the headphones on an expensive side it's uh, audio technica ATH M50X but it's not necessary to have one like that I also used Vmoda headphones and I still use it and, um, this is a uh, Basically, a kit that came with uh, that Samsung microphone. I'm guessing this can be more than twenty dollars, ten twenty dollars. Those that that uh, Samsung headphones and they work pretty f w fine, and I use them. Um, so yeah, that's basically it of the equipment. And the next part, uh, I'll uh, be. Um, showing an example of how uh, an on online tutoring session, how, how online tutoring session uh, works together with my friend Kier. So thank you. Okay, uh, hi, uh, uh, here are we with uh, uh, my friend Peter, and Hello. Uh, we are using, we're going to make a example of a uh, math exercise using a program called the Zoom Meetings um, and the uh, online whiteboard called Whiteboard Box. Uh, which is one of the best online whiteboards available. Uh, it's available free. Um, and uh, um, I'm using uh, Pen Art in fifth, uh, Pen Art Artist uh, 15.6 Pro, and here is using one from Intuos Art uh, Drawing Tab, Graphic Tablet. Uh, uh, I'm using the um, GoPro uh, web uh, camera uh, to uh, Camlik, while here is using uh, Logitech's camera. And we, it has a simple integrated uh, microphone. While I'm using uh, Logitech, uh, I'm not using Sure SM58 micro dynamic microphone. Okay. So we are just showing uh, how this thing works with all the tools available to us. Okay, so we me start. I already uh, have written down the, the assignment, the exercise, and it uh, goes like this. If you can read my uh, handwriting, it is what are the sides of, the, of a rectangle with a perimeter uh, P equals 20 centimeters and um, the surface area is equal. Uh, the surface a area is equal to surface area of square with side P is equal to four. Okay, what that uh, says to us is um, surface area of uh, um, of uh, rectangle is equal equal to surface area of a square. So. We may write uh, such as S square is equal to surface area of a rectangle. And uh, what is the surface area of a square here? The surface area of a square calculated. Uh, if uh, C is the side of the square, then uh, the surface area of the square is C square. Uh, in this case, we have the C is given is 4, so the surface area will be 
four square sixteen. Okay, so the surface area of the rectangle is the same, it's also 16 uh, square centimeters. Okay, so what else do we have? Um, we have the perimeter of the uh, rectangle, which is uh, equal 20 centimeters. So the perimeter is equal. Uh, if A and B are the sides of the rectangle, the perimeter is equal to 2A plus B equals 20. So A plus B equals 20, uh, 10. Okay, so we have that A, A plus B is equal 10 while surface area is equal to the area of the rectangle is scaled how, how do we what's the formula for the surface area of the rectangle it's uh, a times b a times b okay so we have and that is 16 okay so uh, from this uh, two uh, statements, mathematical statements, a, uh, a plus b is uh, 10 and a times b is 16, can we get a and b? Of course we can. So it's uh, enough to solve the system of the equations. And uh, we isolate one a or, or b. Uh, from, from the, the second, second equation, equation we, we can, can isolate a a is equal 16 e. so we and we from this we can change to the first equation 16 b plus b equals 10 16 plus b Square equals 10 B. Okay, for just uh, move for a second. Uh, and move this up. But what essentially what you did here is you uh, multiplied everything in this equation here by B. So you can eliminate the, the fraction here, the first fraction here. You eliminate uh, the fraction. So when you time that to B, that's what the idea was, right? Uh, you put yeah. B in the fraction and it goes 16 plus B times B is B squared. And we have 10 B here, 10 times B is B. Okay, continue. So we have... Um, what? What we have is the quadratic equation, and the, what is the formula for the quadratic equation? It, uh, let's say so we have a default uh, quadratic equation that goes a times x squared plus b times x plus some number called c. And this is the template for the uh, quadratic uh, equation. The general formula for calculating is x12 equals minus b plus minus square root B squared minus 4a and uh, we have a fraction and under fraction we have 2a okay so now we just need to apply this formula to a our our so so in, this is our a in the quadratic formula and that is the one let's pretend that there is one here and this minus mm -hmm. b and this 16 is our C. Okay. Okay, so our case we have we have B12 
is equal 10 plus minus. So, so to explain this for a second, uh, minus, minus 10, minus 10, B is minus 10. B is minus 10. So, exactly. the formula is minus B. So, so when you have minus minus 10 here, you lose this minus to minus, minus, minus and minus, minus give plus, plus so uh, we have 10 instead of a minus 10, okay? And b squared, 10 squared, minus 10 squared is 100, okay? And exactly. Times 16, which is c, 4 times 1 times 16 is uh, 64, okay? Let me not interrupt you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, it's uh, b12 is equal to 10 plus minus root square 100 minus 4 uh, times 16 divided by 2. This is equal to 10 plus minus root square 100 minus 64 divided by 2. This is equal to 10 plus minus root square of 36. Six divided by two equals uh, ten plus minus six divided by two. So from here we can calculate our two solutions. Ten plus six is sixteen divided by two is eight, and ten minus six two divided. Uh, six, uh, 10 minus 6 is 4 divided by 2 is 2. So these are our If A is uh, 8, uh, the B will be... If A is 8, the B will be 2. And if the A is 2, the B will be 8. So we got the size. Those are the size of the rectangle. So we may go back to the assignment and say here that the sides of a rectangle or the, the rectangle this rectangle is R uh, 8 and 2 centimeters and this is the this is the end of this exercise. Uh, thank you, Kira, for your assistance. You're welcome. It was uh, very good, and I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, solving this uh, assignment. This is how it all looks. Um, so it's a rather so. This presentation or uh, example shows that we can draw, we can make uh, geometric uh, shapes on this whiteboard. Uh, what we didn't uh, say here is that we can uh, PDF this, we can uh, use windows to um, uh, make snapshots and uh, uh, how you call it, uh, um, save the, each page of what we're doing. So. If I uh, snipping tool or sniping tool, uh, I may use the area that I want to uh, do the snap for, and I can save it and say. And we can uh, record it as well. Uh, and we can record it as well as we are doing now. And this will be part of the overall video that we're making uh, about uh, as presentation of online uh, maths, physics, uh, programming, tutoring, and how it all works. Basically, we're using whiteboard as also as a notebook, and uh, if students, for example, needs to go back to 
uh, summit exercise that he done with his tutor. This can all be recorded. He can go back. He can check his notes. Uh, this every page of this can be saved, and he can print it also uh, from his computer. So even though that, even though there is no exactly uh, proper hundred percent replacement of. Uh, um, one-to-one -one session uh, live with the computer, uh, the technology uh, came very close to it and actually some features that uh, whiteboards and the computer serve as much as recording and saving everything uh, are actually advantages of online uh, uh, math tutoring or uh, physics or uh, programming tutoring. Uh, in uh, relation to uh, the classical or uh, normal uh, live one-on-one -on -one tutoring. So thank you, Kira, and we'll be back with another... Welcome. Hi, uh, this is another ex example of uh, math exercises uh, uh, and presentation of uh, online math tutoring and how it uh, should look by using uh, Zoom meetings together with online white whiteboards, uh, namely in this uh, instance, this is an example, uh, we're using whiteboards box which is one of the best online whiteboards. Uh, here with me is my friend Kira, and uh, he is helping me to uh, simulate how one uh, online tutor ma online math tutoring session should look like. Um, we have an exercise, and we have uh, written already. Uh, the text of the exercise and it goes like this given that the parameters of the square and the rhombus are equal uh, determine uh, the sharp angle of the rhombus if his surface area is twice smaller than the surface area of the square so what we have here is one square and one rhombus and, uh, the, and uh, that is why the perimeter, uh, the, the, the perimeter of both uh, uh, um, square and rhombus are uh, four times the size. But in this given example, it is A. Okay. So, what what differs in uh, in uh, square and rhombus is that we have that uh, the the surface area given s surface area of the square sqr is a squared while the rhombus let's say rh is a times the height okay uh, from that but we can get it get from the from there is that that this one is quite smaller this is quite smaller so we'll uh, uh, compare the uh, the the surface area so uh, s square is two times s of uh, the surface area of the rhombus okay so we have a squared is equal two times a times h And that's a given from the assignments. 
Okay, so from there moment from there what we can generate from here is that okay here is on top of it that H is here went uh, very faster but we'll slow it down a little bit so we just uh, will take the, this uh, equation and uh, divide uh, a, take uh, divided both uh, the equations, both sides of the equation by A, we'll get that A is 2 uh, two times H and from there uh, H is equal 2 times ha uh, uh, A is equal 2 times H and H is equal 1 half uh, 1 half of the A so we can go back to this to this uh, rhombus and we'll see something and that is that uh, in rhombus uh, the the height has to be and uh, how you call it uh, in a right angle next to the A there's a square that you can make that this uh, triangle called A A F here that we uh, selected and we have a 90 degree angle here that is how it works with the the height of the rhombus, and because we can isolate that because we need that sharp angle of the rhombus, we need to determine it. So what we have here is a triangle where we have a as a um, hypotenuse of this uh, right angle triangle and then we have a height a, a, uh, H and then we have some part of the A uh, side uh, that is not uh, important in this system. what is important is that this is the sharp angle of the uh, rhombus. So what that gives us, is this is, we have that from the previous one, from the previous uh, side of the example, from those uh, formulas that were given, that H is, in brackets here, is one half of the A. So tell me here, uh, what does that uh, tell us? Well, from uh, the formulas in the right angle triangle, we know that sinus alpha uh, equals H divide, uh, divided by A from uh, the given, the given uh, formula. We know that sinus is equal H Okay Don't mind me Continue I just wanna Oh, sorry, I made a mistake So this is uh, Equal And from here The sinus is equal to multiply it so the sinus of the sharp angle is equal one half from here we uh, the only angle with the sine is equal one half 
is 30 degrees. Okay. So from there, you can go back and see that this angle here is 30 degrees and that's exactly what the what the the what it was uh, asked from us in this in this assignment okay uh, so we uh, so that we have always it's important always to set up uh, the exercise or the assignment the right way uh, first we saw that we have two um, two figures namely the square and the rhombus with the same uh, perimeters namely uh, they have all the same sides so A is uh, the same and then we got the surface of the uh, square that was two times bigger and from there we got we equalized the formulas because they have the same A because the perimeter is the same therefore A is the same that's what we got and then when we equalized the formulas for the surface area of both square and rhombus we got that H meaning the height of the rhombus is one half of the uh, the side of the A and then we got to the height and uh, to the right angle triangle within the rhombus and we determined what the uh, what the sharp angle of the triangle of the rhombus and in the same time of this triangle where A and H are the sides and then we can uh, see that that one half is actually the uh, the angle that the, the sinus of the angle uh, that we were looking for and that's how we got to the, the the solution of the problem okay I think that was it with uh, this exercise thank you very much Kira for uh, the explanation and we will see you in another video
Hi, my name is Ruvain Ahrens. Um, I'm coming to the end of my business degree in Mahon Lev. And uh, three years ago when I started the degree, um, I was 29 years old and I hadn't <coughs> learned maths for uh, several years since I was in high school. Um, and even when I was in high school, I was never that uh, strong at maths. Um, so when I started the degree, it was actually quite a shock and I had a lot to catch up, even on basic calculus. Um, so at the beginning I was really drowning um, and I basically had two options, either to drop out or to get myself a tutor. I found Daniel and uh, he was very flexible and a really good teacher and it was a really, really good investment to make. Um, he explained everything clearly to me. Uh, he showed me the methods and actually uh, he helped me from basically being bottom of my class to getting full marks in my first exam. I got 100% in that exam um, and it was a really, really good investment because from then on I was able to uh, cope with all the maths courses and all the other business courses which um, incorporate different types of uh, maths. I was able to um, do those by myself um, and it was all due to the amazing tutoring skills of Daniel so I highly recommend him as a tutor um, I think if, if you're struggling with maths and you just need to get through uh, an exam or a couple of exams um, it's a really really good investment don't give up uh, you can do it Daniel's a great tutor all the best Son. Uh, hi, my name is Alvin Berkowitz. Uh, I live in Remote. Uh, my son, Mayor, he's a student at Chorev. And uh, Daniel was his math tutor uh, in 10th grade. Uh, he was studying subjects I couldn't help him with, and uh, Daniel was able to help him. He, I think Daniel explained it to him in a, in a methodical, logical way. So uh, it was a help. It was a help uh, to Mayor because uh, there's no way I could do uh, it. Each of these types of things. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's yeah. fine. You want me to say anything else? No, 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 it's just perfectly fine. part um, so basically I'm gonna just recap uh, repeat uh, <coughs> the basics uh, the takeout from all of, from the entire video um, I offer classes uh, offer tutoring in math mostly math but I also tutor physics basic electrical engineering yet I can also provide chess lessons for beginners also online so all of the above can I can do online and for uh, math physics uh, and basics of electrical engineering um, I would require my students to have uh, three basic uh, computer devices three basic tools um, either uh, graphic tablet graphics tablet with a pen or uh, some kind of a drawing device that can be connected to white boards only white boards so either uh, graphics tablet or a drawing monitor or um, iPad or a Samsung Galaxy tablet kind of uh, um, type of device or a laptop 
but I won't get all those micro expressions from their faces so I can I won't properly understand how do they react and what they see what they don't see how they it's like uh, partly being the blind spots for me to be able to read all the signals from my students and to react accordingly. That's number two. Number three is uh, stable internet connection. Maybe I didn't uh, uh, didn't uh, stay on that too long for a video of 1080p or 720p uh, to be Broadcasts uh, from a computer to internet, uh, you need to have a at least one to two megabits per second. That's the minimum, bare minimum. Optimal would be from two and a half to five megabits per second upload, not download. So that is to be uh, considered and to be understood. That's number two. Not Number three, number four. Um, I'm guessing. Uh, what did I say? Yeah. Um, microphone. Prefer. I would prefer at least for my students to have a USB microphone. Um, at very least, not, they don't have to have a internet um, audio interface. Audio interface like I do, but uh, at least something like Blue Yeti or Raisin Siren microphone, something like that. And preferably, but not uh, not a must, is to for them for their benefit. Uh, for my benefit, would be best that they have some kind of headphones, even basics, if not something more uh, expensive like I do, like this Audio Technica. This is way too expensive but there are other options for much more cheaper that cost like 10 20 dollars so. so those are the basic requirements um, I'm using a video conferencing a tool called uh, zoom meetings together with uh, whiteboard Fox that's on my whiteboard I already showed how that works with my friend Kira and then I provided uh, two of uh, my two, ref two references from my former or, or and current students. Um, yeah, that is enough because I don't want to bother people to give, to give me and wait some people to give me video references and so on. I had some um, picture references and text references for people, but they and also because I'm from Serbia, I mentioned that I had some uh, uh, video references from, uh, in Serbian, but they didn't really want it only in English. So because I'm uh, offering the lesson, but uh, tutoring in English, I wanted to have English only English references. All the references in English. The students who I tutor in English. Basically, I have a Facebook connection there somewhere, it's up there, and then YouTube, uh, YouTube link connection is here, and then my Yahoo email should be there, right? I hope I got it. I'm not dancing, just a how it goes, so if somebody wants to contact me and is interested in uh, some of the tutoring I offer, please contact me on those links there. Um, yeah, what else? Yeah, please. Um, I would appreciate any kind of uh, sharing of this video. Uh, please share, like, subscribe. How do they do YouTube? Let's go with all those. Statements. Share, like, subscribe, and videos, comments. And like if you like them, dislike or comment if you don't. Whatever, don't dislike.
Thank you.